Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 23rd of 2019. Well, it is titled Apollo 12 and Surveyor 3 Stereo View. So what do we see here? Well, you need to get out your 3D glasses, the kind with the red and the blue lenses so that you can go and look at this and you will see a three dimensional view that was combined making two different images of the scene shown here from slightly different perspectives to order to give us a distance uh, approximation on it. And what you see in the foreground is the Surveyor 3 spacecraft which landed in April of 1967 and was one of the early explorations of the moon, one of the early landers on the moon in preparation for the Apollo landings a few years later. So exploring out various regions of the moon and one one was one that soft landed on the moon. And you can see it uh, here and the astronaut there uh, checking out the uh, instrumentation and the structure of that spacecraft that had landed several years before. Now off in the distance you can see the lunar lander out there as well as some of the other instrumentation and communication uh, setup that is there to be able to uh, communicate with the Earth the actual lunar lander itself that brought the astronauts down from the command module which remains in orbit around the moon during this time. And that is the also part of that will be what would launch the astronauts back out into space from the moon. Now if you look at that it's a lot smaller than the giant uh, Saturn V rockets that were required to escape the Earth's gravity. The moon's gravity being only about one sixth of the Earth's uh, not no gravity there as some will try to consider there is certainly gravity on the moon but it is far less so you would weigh about one sixth of what you do here on the Earth. Earth. And that's one of the difficulties with making it much, much harder to launch from the Earth than from the moon. The other is that the Earth has a thick atmosphere. So not only do you have a stronger gravitational well to escape from, but you also have to push through an atmosphere which causes atmospheric resistance and slows you down. So that makes it more difficult to escape from the Earth. And one of the reasons a much smaller rocket is able to launch the astronauts up from the surface of the moon. On the moon itself, you can see a lot of the astronauts footprints scattered around there. And those still exist today, even 50 years after this image is taken. Uh, weathering on the moon is very slow. Uh, uh, footprints that are created on the Earth 50 years ago are long gone. But footprints created on the moon do not change. The ch moon does not have any weather, so no wind or rain on the moon. And no other events like volcanic activity or earthquakes or anything that would wipe out signs of of uh, things like this. What would happen is slow micrometeorite impacts, but it would take millions and millions of years for those to slowly erode away at the astronauts footprints. So if we were to go back to the moon today, we would be able to see these footprints exactly as they look when the astronauts left them there 60 years ago. So that was our picture of the day for November the 23rd of 2019. It was titled Apollo 12 and Surveyor 11 Stereo View. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be glasses off. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.